Hey there, welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and this is another Unity Android game development tutorial. So, till this episode we have learned pretty serious stuff. We have learned about touch controls, we have learned about accelerometer inputs. So, in this video we're gonna learn about a very important topic called screen independent or screen resolution independent UI. So we're gonna learn how to create UI that will be screen resolution independent. So that means if you create UI for a tablet screen or for the resolution of a tablet, it should work same for a smaller screen mobile or any bigger screen devices. Okay. So we're gonna learn how to create UI that can be used on any devices that will work the same on any devices. Okay. So let's first of all take a look at what we're gonna be building or the result that will be achieved after this tutorial. So here we ha I have a pretty simple scene as you can see. Uh, you can think it of a menu scene that you have created and in the menu scene you have this image right here and two buttons, play button, pause button maybe or play button, exit button maybe and there you have a back button maybe. So the thing to notice is that right now we are working in 1280 by 720 resolution, okay? Now, what happens if we reduce the size or reduce the screen size of the resolution? Now, you can see that if I reduce the screen resolution, if I reduce the screen size, you can see that the even if the size of the screen is getting smaller, the buttons are remaining of the same size. Buttons are not getting smaller. Moreover, they are going out of the screen. Okay, so this is the behavior that we don't want. We want the buttons to be resized when we are resizing the screen and we want the buttons to be uh, to stay at the same place where they were at the previous time. Okay, so this is the problem and we're going to achieve something like this. So when uh, we're going to achieve something like this where if we just resize the screen we want the buttons to be remain at the same place. We just want them to resize accordingly and we want them to be replaced accordingly. Okay, so this is what we're gonna achieve. So, with that being said, I hope you guys are excited. Let's get started. So, first of all, I'm gonna create a new scene here, file new scene, and this is the scene you're gonna use. Now, for the image, I already have, a, I'm gonna use one of my thumbnails from my videos here. and if you take a look at this, this image is already set at 1280 by uh, 720 resolution. Okay, so we're gonna use the 1280 by 720 resolution here. If you don't have a 1280 by 720 resolution set up, you can just click on this plus sign, and here the width you can write 1280, and on the height you can write 720, and by that you will create a resolution like this. Okay. So next, what you're going to create is that for the image of the menu, instead of adding a sprite directly, what you're going to be doing is we're going to be using a UI image. Okay? So what's an UI image? So I'm going to create UI and then I'm going to click on image. Okay? And as you can see, whenever we have created an image, a canvas has been already created for us. So this is the this canvas is the parent of everything, and this holds all the UI elements inside it. Okay. Now, as you can see in the scene view, we cannot see the image. So in order to see the image, we can uh, select the image and then keep our mouse on the screen view, on the scene view, and press F key on your keyboard. By pressing F key, it will focus on the image. Now you can see that the image is out of the canvas. This is the canvas and the image is out of the canvas. So that is why we cannot see it in the game view. What we can do is by selecting the image from here, if you select the gear icon and from there if we select reset so what this will do is this will reset the position and this will position it at the center so now it has been resized here so now what we can do is by selecting the image we can uh, from here as the source image of the UI image <laughs> as the source image of the UI image 
we can select the sprite that we have already imported if you haven't uh, import any sprite you can import any sprite and make sure to make it the same resolution as you want your game to be in this case i have used 12 by 80 by 720 resolution so select the image click on this source image and as a source image you can use this one okay so as you can see as the source image we have used this and now it looks like this now what you're gonna be doing is from the image you can see here we have an option called set native size so what that will do is set native size will make it the original size of the image so since uh, the since the size of the image is 1280 by 720 so this will make the size of this UI image 1280 by 720 if I click on set native size so let's click on that and if I click on that oops uh, I had to do something else before this so let's press ctrl Z and let's do something else before doing all this stuff before doing all this stuff what we have to do is we need to set the canvas so that it gets resized according to the screen size okay since the canvas is the main UI element which is holding everything so we need to set it up first before we do anything else so we're gonna need to select the canvas and from here you can see we have a canvas scalar component attached to the canvas so by using this canvas scalar component we're gonna do something so that the canvas get resized every time we add uh, UI and we use it in a different screen resolution so what you're gonna be doing is here we can see UI scale mode and the UI scale mode is set as constant pixel size now if it is set as constant pixel size then the UI element will always be of the same size as you have seen in the uh, in the video that whenever we looked at the first scene at that place the buttons were of the same size even if we resized the screen but we don't want that so if constant pixel size is set as UI scale mode then the buttons will be of the same size no matter whatever the screen size is but we want the buttons to be resized whenever the screen is resized so that is why we're gonna select scale with screen size so if we select scale with screen size what that will do is that will just scale our image or scale our UI elements according to the screen size and here you can see we have one more thing that's called a reference resolution reference resolution is the resolution which we are gonna use as a reference for this so since here we are using 1280 by 720 so we want our original scale to be 1280 by 720 so that is why we're gonna write 1280 by 720 here so this is our reference resolution and down below we have one more thing that's called screen match mode that's um, and we're gonna take a look at this a few minutes ago <laughs> I'm sorry we can take a look at this later so with that being done since we have done that so now let's go and select the image and as the source image select this one and now we're gonna click on set native size now as you can see now it works since we have set up the canvas as we want so now if we click on this image as set native size it will be set as its full size automatically so the image will be set at its full size automatically now what are you gonna do we're gonna create the UI buttons so I'm gonna create UI button and let's zoom in a bit and resize let's place the button here and make it a big make it a bit big bigger yeah and from here from the color we're gonna select any one color you can select I'm gonna select the yellow color okay, this one and after that I'm gonna right click duplicate so we have a new button and I'm gonna place that button right here okay and I'm gonna create one more button by right clicking and duplicating 
and I'm going to place it right here. So now we have three buttons and as we have said as I have said that we want all the buttons to be resized and stay at the same place wherever they are. So one more thing we need to do for that is we need to set an anchor for the buttons so that the buttons stay at the same place or at the same distance of a screen from the place. So as an example for button 2 we want this button to be at this position uh, whatever may be the screen size we want it to be we want it to be this this units far away from this edge right here so we want it to be this this units far away from the left edge so we will set its anchor position at the left so that it stays anchored to the left so what we can do for that is we're going to select the button and from the rect transform component we're going to select this one and from the anchor piece sets we're going to select this one left middle so as you can see it has been anchored to the left middle now whatever will be the screen size it will be always same units apart from the left uh, left screen or left end and for these two buttons this button 1 and button 2 you're going to select both of them by using control you're going to select that then press control and select this one and for both of these we're going to select the anchor position at the right middle okay and if we select the anchor position at the right middle then both of them will be at the same distance apart from the right middle of the screen okay so now we have done most of our most of our work so now we have done most of our work so as you can see that previously we had issues with this but now if since we have done all the things now if I just resize the screen as you can see the buttons are getting resized as we are resizing the screen okay so we have pretty much achieved whatever we wanted to achieve but there's one more thing that I'm going to talk about if I make this as you can see it is in uh, what I can say that it is in landscape mode yes that's the correct word so it is in landscape mode and if I make it in portrait mode suppose I'm gonna make it in portrait mode by selecting this 480 by 800 resolution or any resolution you want as you can see that it just gets resized like this okay but why does it resize like this as you can see here it is getting the whole width the width is the same the width, say, width stays same as the previous one but the height gets reduced as you can see the height gets reduced so why this happens why the width only get reduced if I select the canvas and from here you can see from the canvas color component here we have a match property and as I have said that I will talk about it later as the match property we can select from the match property you can set how much we we want to change it uh, according to the width and height according to the change of width and height as you can see here the switch is towards the width so that means whatever be the screen resolution it will always match the width now if we wanted to match the height always so we can drag it here and as you can see here it matches the height no matter whatever it is so if we make the width then the value is 0 if we match it with the height then the value is 1 but in most of the cases we want it to be in a place where it will be it will be equally matched to the width as well as it will be equally matched to the height so in order to do that we're gonna place it at the middle or make the value 0 0.5 that is half so now it will be equally matched to the width as well as equally matched to the height whenever it is made portrait or whatever so most of the in most of the times we want to do something like this whenever we need to make the UI for or for landscape and portrait both modes and it's always a good idea to match it to parents width and height both let's make it to the original size so probably you guys understood whatever I wanted to say I just wanted to 
keep it as simple as possible i don't know how much i have done that so i hope you guys enjoyed and learned something this is going to be very very helpful whenever you're going to build games for various resolutions and this is really very important so i hope you guys enjoyed and this helped you a little so thank you very very much for watching this video if you enjoyed make sure to subscribe and like and if you have any questions just write us in comments below more tutorials are coming soon thank you very much have a great day and see you in another video